Hey, what's up guys? It's Travis Flips. Okay, so I recently bought my first batch of Pokemon cards and I'm new to this, so this is the beginning of my journey. I had a lot of questions. I was doing a lot of research and I was figuring out what cards to buy and eventually I bought them, I selected the first batch of them actually. So in this video, I'm gonna review what cards I bought. These are the very first time that I'm buying cards and I guess it comes at a time where I have the, the, the capability, um, the spending power to buy them. So I have a mix of both uh, modern and uh, vintage cards. So I'm gonna go through like um, the reason why I bought them, how much I bought them for and what I intend to do with them. So let's begin. All right, so you see from the... <laughs> Actually, this is a this this is a lunchbox uh, lunchbox. Actually, I, I bought from the Pokemon store in Japan, but I, I decided to use it for um, storing my cards for now. Isn't it cute? See, okay, so we're gonna open this, and uh, I believe I have about ten to uh, thirteen cards. So okay, so I have these two right, but these were from the uh, Champions Path uh, Elite Booster box. I actually did an unboxing video on this, uh, opening video on this, so check it out in the previous video. But I do intend to get them graded. Uh, I'll probably talk about grading in the next video. Okay, so here are the cards. Oh, oh! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe I dropped the cards. I dropped my cards in my first video. Gosh, okay, there goes the value down the drain. Okay, so anyways, so these are my cards over here. Okay, so a, a little information, I'm from Singapore, so um, so basically where, where I get my cards from, uh, as far as I'm aware, is from Facebook Marketplace, also from Carousel. Carousel is, is like this, uh, app mobile app that we use uh, it is essentially a marketplace as well so there are tons of uh, uh, resellers over there so that's mainly where I get my cards I also get them from eBay um, and also from I mean from booster packs as well but mainly if you want to get a good cards you have to get it from carousel in, in Singapore um, so so we're gonna look into the cards uh, one by one right now probably I will start with the vintage card first um, so the first two cards that I actually bought were these two. Okay, I hope the camera can you can you guys can see. So it's a nine tails and a fossil articuno, non-hollow. Okay, so I was I was doing a lot of uh, research. Probably like the first three days were just research and like figuring out what cards to buy, uh, what cards have value because um, as much as I like to collect, I want to flip and resell as well. So I have to get the cards that have value and I have to get gradable cards. That's, that's the main thing, gradable cards. So they have to be in good collection, uh, good condition. So the first two I got were these and I, I really love them, especially the nine tails. So I got this Nine Tails for I believe uh, 35 Sing dollars, and I think the condition is is uh, pretty good. As you can see over here, at the back there's a, a a bit of whitening. I'm not sure whether you guys can see or over here, but I'm hoping definitely this is one of the cards I'm looking to get graded. So these are the two first two. Um, and then I went on to buy more uh, vintage cards, uh, Watt C cards. So I think the next one is, is this one. So in the marketplace that I was buying from, um, basically like something like this costs um, 10 bucks. Um, so it looks in, in pristine condition, very nice. So I mean, it's, it's just 10 bucks. So I, I was going to get it because um, if I were to get this and I send this and I get this graded, the value is going to be potentially much more. If I get it PSA 9 or PSA 10, there, I believe there's always going to be value in uh, vintage cards. 
So whenever there's a chance, if I see like online there are resellers that are selling these vintage cards, my budget, uh, my budget range anywhere from ten dollars to, I would say thirty to forty, if it fits my my criteria. So I have a criteria as well. If it fits my budget, um, and the resale value is there, um, and the condition as well. Okay, the the four criteria: the edges, the centering. Um, the surface and the, the whitening. I believe these are the four. I may have to edit this. But anyway, so Wiggly Tough is the third one. The fourth card is a series of cards I bought from another reseller. Um, so it came, So I chose uh, four cards from his collection. So the first one is the Dark Vile Plume. And I like this, uh, I like this design a lot. I like the Dark series a lot. Okay, this this one came in very very good condition. I'm I'm honestly I have no idea how these how these people actually keep them in such mint or even near mint condition. Next card I have is the fortress. So I believe this out of the four that I got from this guy, this this was the best condition one. Okay, this fortress, and then I got a first edition. Brox Onyx non hollow, and this was, I believe, like 10 bucks, okay, sing dollars, but it's first edition, so definitely there's, there's bound to be value over time. The back is just perfect condition. And lastly, I got from this guy this Team Magmas uh, Torco, Tor I don't know how to pronounce it, Torco, Torco, okay. I mean, the hollow on this is just beautiful and the back so mostly for the vintage cards um, I want to get my cards graded by PSA um, so for the vintage I my strategy is just to go for value um, TCG and I know it's gonna take a year uh, right now with the with the turnaround times but my my thinking is that the vintage cards are always gonna have value okay these are 20 year old cards and they're not just gonna suddenly drop in value in fact they're gonna rise with value over time they are proven commodity, so there's always going to be market for this. At least this is what I think for now. So I'm going to go with um, the value TCG, uh, value service uh, for PSA grading. Now, what are the cards I'm going for Express? I'll probably touch more about this um, in another video. Uh, but let, let me show you guys the, the modern cards that I've gotten. Uh, before that, there's one more, Vintage Kangaskhan. Okay, so I thought this was mint, right? But then when I receive it, it was, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but that there's silvering, I believe it's called, there's silvering at the bottom. So I was, I was slightly disappointed with this. All right, so for the modern cards, I have uh, right now five of them. There are still, I believe, uh, two to three more that's coming my way. So the first, the first one, I'm, I'm super hyped for this. This is a, um, Dragonite EX. I believe I believe this is from Evolutions. Look at the full art. I mean, I can't believe that these aren't going for um, way more than the price that I bought it for, uh, or, or or the market price. So I got this for um, thirty five. I got it with the uh, another card actually, but I got it for thirty five uh, Sing dollars. Okay, I think over at Troll and Toe or Toad and Troll. Sorry. Um, is, is, is more than that so I think I got a pretty good deal and judging from the condition right I mean just from my eyes it looks to be a PSA 10 I don't know I don't know I've heard stories like like it came back like 9 or even 8 when, when, when they thought was like pristine 10 or something so but I love 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 this card I'm definitely gonna get this uh, express graded all right, next, um, next three cards are from Vivid Voltage. Can you guys guess what they are? They are, yes, they are the amazing rare. So right now I have three of them. The, the Celebi, the Zachian, and Zamanzenta. Okay, so, the, uh, so these two I got from a seller, okay, the same seller. And I got them from, I think, uh, 
this one 15 this one 20 so 35 bucks okay and they came uh, came to me in super good condition okay definitely getting those graded express and then the Celebi so this 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 is the card that I wanted to grade the most uh, because I, I strongly believe the resale value is there uh, for PSA PSA 10s but I had to get really perfect condition um, I thought it was it was a potential 10 candidate until I saw the bottom uh, yeah I believe over here there's a bit of slight dent so I was quite disappointed um, that the seller did not uh, inform me of this uh, but that's life right I mean what can I do okay but other than that so I've, I've, I've already uh, bought I think two or three more of these um, I would like more of the amazing rares actually because I see a lot of potential in them and the last card I have right now in my collection uh, probably this this is my favorite one out of all of them is the Kawabana Pikachu I hope I'm saying it right Kawabana Pikachu so this card is just amazing the art on this people are saying like this is gonna be a future collector's item and I, I definitely believe I mean the, the unique artwork okay and I see um, in uh, US right in eBay the prices are, are already starting to skyrocket it's going for like 80 to 100 bucks per piece right now in Singapore is still I got this for 60 sing dollars so can you imagine so I would definitely want to collect more of these I definitely with Pikachu it's only gonna skyrocket the prices Pikachu is always gonna be one of those valuable cards is the mascot of Pokemon literally and uh, Pikachu Charizard so these two speaking of Charizard I've actually ordered uh, two illustrator Charizards I I'm looking to get them graded as well but hopefully they come uh, back to me in uh, I received them in good condition good centering everything but yeah right now this is this is my favorite absolutely favorite absolutely perfect I hope that when you guys see I mean you guys can leave in the comment as well because I think the centering is perfect okay looks to be almost even no scratches no nothing okay all right so those were my first batch of cards i'm really starting to enjoy this the whole collection process but of course uh, this is just the beginning of my journey i'm looking to get them graded so i already have the strategy in place i'm gonna probably do a next video on what cards i'm gonna get graded um, and i want to just go in and do express first and the reason why is because i want to prove i, I kind of want to prove that i can um i can grade cards because that's that's important thing right you want to make sure that if you're sending over to, to PSA or grading companies you actually have an idea like whether this is going for PSA 10 so I just want to kind of see like okay is my grading skills there or not if it is and it really comes back to uh, perfect 10 then I resell it then hey potentially I can create another business out of this um, so that is attractive to me the flipping aspect that's why Travis flips right but also as a Pokemon lover I love the collection um, collection aspect of it so definitely you see that some cards I'll be keeping for sure my point is that the value is going to increase for some of these cards so anyway that's it for this video let me know in the comments what cards you bought recently if you're new to this what were the first cards you bought or even when you started like way back what were the first cards you bought from resellers if you enjoyed this video i greatly appreciate if you can leave me a like and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this and also follow my instagram at travis flips pokemon that's travis flips pkmn lots more content to share with you guys i'll see you in the next one bye